Guy, Xu Sei, who has recently transferred schools. Gasping for breath, she approaches him and tells him that she likes him. However, Xu Sei rudely replies that she's annoying. After that, he walks away, with other students laughing at Moe. On his way to class, Moe's best friend, Aoi, blocks his way. She informs him about how Moe had gathered courage to confess her love for him. Rather than being emotional, Shusei comes closer to Aoi and asks her if she also likes him. Hearing this, Aoi gets angry and pushes him down the stairs, injuring him. So, Aoi is compelled to assist him to reach home. Later, when Shusei tells her that they're near his house, Aoi is surprised because it's exactly where she lives. After inquiring further, they get to know that they're next door neighbors. In the next scene, an injured Shusei lies on his bed while Aoi cleans his room and prepares food for him. After a while, Shusei approaches Aoi half naked. Seeing him like this, Aoi gets startled and accidentally starts a fire. Shortly after, Kazumi, the landlady, arrives and informs them that repairing the room will probably take more than a week. As a result, Shusei decides to move in with Aoi, much to her dismay. In the next scene, Shusei moves to Aoi's room. The next day at school, Aoi seems tired and irritated by the activities of Shusei at home. He had annoyed her the whole night, so she was unable to complete her sleep and make lunch for school. Moe asks Aoi about what happened to her, but Aoi doesn't answer because Moe still likes Shusei. Meanwhile, two other students arrive and inform Aoi that a couple who are found living together have been expelled from school. Hearing this, Aoi gets more stressed, thinking that if anyone found out that she and Shusei were living together in the same apartment, they could get expelled. After reaching home, Aoi arranges her belongings and prepares posters for Shusei to instruct him about what the limitations are to staying together. She also partitions the bedroom into two with the help of a bedsheet. While she's doing this, Shusei arrives with his friend Ryosuke. Afraid of being caught, Aoi hides under a blanket. Shusei notices her feet and to annoy her even more, sits on top of her. Aoi's in pain but can't make a sound. Meanwhile, Ryosuke discovers some ladies' clothes inside the house and asks Shusei about them. Shusei replies that the clothes are of his female neighbor. When Ryosuke goes to the balcony to check on the female neighbor, Aoi comes out of the blanket and confronts Shusei for bringing his friend home. Soon, Ryosuke returns to the room and Shusei introduces Aoi to him as his neighbor. After that, Aoi is compelled to leave her own apartment. After she leaves the apartment, Aoi gets soaked by the rain and reaches a supermarket. Inside, she finds her friend, Sanjo, working there. He offers her the new items that have recently arrived at the supermarket to taste. She seems to have caught a cold, so Sanjo offers her a jacket and an umbrella to return home. The next day, Aoi is greeted by Kazumi while she's on the balcony. She asks her how she's feeling living with a high school roommate. Aoi replies that he's irritating and that she's feeling annoyed. Kazumi tells Aoi that Shusei is a good boy as he handles all his expenses and also does a part-time job. Meanwhile, Kazumi's son, Kota, arrives and inquires if Aoi would join them for a barbecue. Just then, Shusei arrives and confirms with Koda. The scene then shifts to the riverside, where all of the people, including Moe, Sanjo, Shusei, Ryosuke, and others are preparing for the barbecue. Sanjo is also a good cook, so he can be seen cooking different dishes. At the same time, Aoi approaches Moe and tells her that Shusei is actually her neighbor. Surprisingly, Shusei's brother, Soju, also arrives with a girl named Satsuki, who happens to be Shusei's childhood friend. She rushes towards Shusei and hugs him. In a low voice, Ryosuke says that Satsuki is actually Shusei's ex-girlfriend. The next day, Kazumi provides two amusement park tickets to Aoi. Aoi plans to take Moe with her, but Shusei arrives out of nowhere and snatches one of the tickets from her. Later, they end up roaming around at the amusement park. Shusei holds her hand and takes her to various places. There, she finds out about an event happening soon, where fireworks will create a heart shape in the air. She informs Shusei that whichever couple will attend the firework event together will be blessed. Shusei tells Aoi that he will attend the event with her. Meanwhile, some other classmates arrive and Shusei and Aoi are compelled to hide from them. While they hide, Shusei comes closer to Aoi and is about to kiss her, but she closes her eyes and refrains. About now, Aoi has started to feel something for Shusei. She also confesses her feelings to Moe. With no progress between Moe and Shusei, Moe also decides to help her. Later, while Aoi and Shusei are returning home, Aoi sees a necklace and likes it very much. Unfortunately, the price of the necklace is so high that she can't afford it. As the two reach their apartment, they find Satsuki waiting for Shusei. Seeing him and Aoi together, she gets jealous and threatens Aoi to stay away from him. In the next scene, Shusei hasn't returned home for a couple of days and Aoi is worried for him. Suddenly, Soju approaches her and asks if she really likes him. 
Aoi denies liking Shusei and asks about what happened between Satsuki and Shusei. Soju just tells her that Satsuki is a good friend of Shusei, who always helps him when he's in need. He further mentions that he'll explain about what happened between them two years ago, only if she'd obey his one condition. He then leans forward and kisses Aoi, but she starts to scream and runs away. In the next scene, Shusei and Soju can be seen together, where Soju is providing him with some money, stating that he'd need it, as he's now living together with a girl. However, Shusei rejects the money. At the same time, Soju comments about Aoi and tells him that he kissed her. Upon hearing this, Shusei gets angry and is about to punch his brother, but controls himself. He then goes to Aoi and finds her crying alone on a hill. He approaches her and kisses her on the cheek, stating that, now, her unpleasant first kiss has been reset. Time passes by, and now, Aoi has started feeling comfortable with Shusei. One day, while the two are returning home after shopping, Sanjo notices them and stops them. Aoi asks Shusei to go away, but he stays with her. Later, she tells him that if Sanjo sees them together, it may cause trouble. In reply, Shusei tells her that he doesn't care what other people think. He just loves spending time with her. After that, as the firework event is coming near, Aoi buys a lovely new good luck dress for herself. Later that night, Shusei gets a call from Satsuki and rushes out of the house. He seems to be a little tense and thinks about the promise he made with Satsuki two years before. When Shusei returns home later that night, Aoi asks him what happened between him and Satsuki two years before. However, Shusei just ignores her question and enters his room. The next day, Aoi meets Moe and finds out that she and Ryosuke are in a relationship. From Ryosuke, Aoi gets to know that that day is Shusei's birthday. After reaching home, an excited Aoi prepares different dishes for his birthday. She also prepares a beautiful cake to surprise him. However, soon she gets a call from Satsuki, who informs her that Shusei won't be returning home that day. She also mentions that she's going to be intimate with him tonight. Hearing this, Aoi becomes devastated. Later that night, when Shusei returns home, he's surprised to see all of the dishes prepared for him. He sits to eat and compliments Aoi for her skill. Noticing Aoi's silence, Shusei asks her what she wants. Crying, Aoi replies that she just wants him to smile. Upon hearing this, Shusei comes closer to Aoi, but doesn't kiss her. Rather, he gets up, packs his belongings, and moves out of the room. It's raining outside, and Aoi follows him to find him standing in the middle of the road. She runs up and hugs him from behind, and tells him that she started to like him and wants to be together with him. Shusei replies that he doesn't hate her, but that he's also not in the condition to accept her relationship and stay with her. In the next scene, we see the landlady's son tying his wish, written on a piece of paper, to a tree. Elsewhere, Moe finds something strange about Aoi, and asks Ryosuke about the truth between Satsuki and Shusei. Ryosuke reveals that Shusei and Satsuki have been friends since childhood. They were also in a relationship, but it didn't last for long. They always quarreled whenever they were together. Because of the toxic relationship, Shusei broke up with her, but Satsuki couldn't handle the decision. Later, during Christmas, Satsuki had messaged Susei that she'd be waiting for him under a Christmas tree, but Shusei ignored her messages. After several hours, Shusei listened to her voice messages and got to know that Satsuki was actually still waiting for him outside in the freezing cold. He rushed to the tree and found her unconscious due to the cold. She was taken to the hospital, and during that time, Shusei promised to be with her until she found happiness in her life. Ryosuke then tells Moe that it's the same promise that Shusei is fulfilling until now. After that, Aoi reaches home to find a beautiful necklace on the table. She remembers telling Shusei about the necklace and cries her heart out over it. In the next scene, Shusei is with Soju, where he reveals that because of the promise he made with Satsuki, he's unable to live a happy life. Somewhere else, Moe is planning to go to the festival with Ryosuke and is also looking for a date for Aoi. She approaches Sanjo and asks him to accompany Aoi to the festival. Sanjo immediately agrees to this. It's finally the festival day and Aoi is ready, wearing her new dress. Moe and Ryosuke send her ahead of them in a bus, asking her to meet with Sanjo. After that, they go straight to Shusei's room and find him lying on the floor. Ryosuke approaches him and tells him that he seemed so happy when he was with Aoi, and it's also what he wants. He also tells him that he can't run away from his feelings throughout his whole life. Moe also comes forward and tries her best to make Shusei understand that he actually loves Aoi. She further mentions that Aoi is already at the festival with Sanjo. Realizing his love for Aoi, Shusei rushes to the festival, taking Ryosuke's scooter. Aoi is with Sanjo at the festival, and the fireworks have already started. Elsewhere, Shusei is stuck in a traffic jam. He tries to sneak through, but gets stopped by a traffic police. As a result, he leaves the scooter and runs towards the festival. Meanwhile, Sanjo confesses his love for Aoi. When the fireworks then make a heart in the air, Sanjo leans forward to kiss her, but she cries and apologizes. 
Later, Aoi is walking alone among the crowd when she hears someone calling her name. She turns around to find Shusei searching for her. After they see each other, Shusei approaches Aoi and confesses his feelings for her. He says that he just wants her to smile and asks her to be his girlfriend. Angry, Aoi comes closer to Shusei and slaps him. She then tells him that she's also weak but can never let go of feelings for him. Right after, the fireworks make another heart in the sky and Aoi leans forward to kiss Shusei. At the same time, Shusei takes out his phone and clicks a picture